So developing our supplier. Now this may be because our supplier doesn't have the capability that we're looking for, or they may be slipping in some areas and we need to help them get to the level that we want them at. So let's take a closer look at supplier development. So we need to increase our supply options. So by doing that, we need to secure sources of supply. So we might have a supplier that we want to use, but they may not be to that level yet that we start giving them business. So we, need, we may choose to help them get to that level. Now, when we do that, we're, we may improve their process capability, which will build a stronger, more competitive supply base. Because if we're helping one supplier get to be more competitive, other suppliers will see, oh, now we have a competitor that is on our level. So we need to be more competitive so we get business instead of this new entry to the market. And it could be as simple as that. So how do, do we do that? Well, we can use Honda's way of doing that. And they use the Plan, Do, Check, Act process. So they'll plan by trying to find an opportunity. They'll overview the business process and define a supplier role. So they might, they'll define how they're going to go about it. So is, are they going to have a full-time project leader? Are they going to have a dedicated war room or basically just a conference room where it's dedicated to that purpose? Are they going to negotiate a 50, 50 share of the savings and then come up with a project schedule. And then finally, they're going to do that project, do that plan. So they're going to evaluate several things. And, but when they do that plan, they're finally going to implement it. So they're actually going to do it. And then they're going to check on it. They're going to gather performance data, compare the before versus after, and they're going to present their results and celebrate the results. You don't have to have such a huge success to celebrate results. It could be that you've increased efficiency by 0.1%. That is still something to celebrate because that's moving in the right direction. But even if the, the project was a complete flop where it failed entirely, there's something that you can celebrate because you want to keep people's morale high. And yes, they might have been beaten down because they knew it was not going to be good. But by celebrating something, you can bring everybody's feelings back and they're going to want to jump on the next opportunity. So once we check on things, we need to close our performance gaps. Maybe we realize that we should have had somebody else or added somebody to the team that we didn't have. Well, once we do that, we, we can put that in a document. So the next time there's a planning phase, we can go ahead and that information can be made available to that next planner. So when they try to update a business process that they see, oh, well, hey, we should have had this person on the team. Let's make sure that we get this person. And they continue to do the plan, do, check, act, the PDCA process. So this is just how Honda does it. Every company does it slightly differently. But have you done this in your own life where you did a you made a plan, you actually executed the plan, you checked the results of your plan and then took action based on those results? I'm pretty sure you did. So think about something that you've done in the past that you've done this process for and that will help you understand this process. So this was topic 14, you know, the buyer and supplier relationship and how to create co-value or co-creation of value. I hope you enjoyed it and let's go ahead and move on to our next video under another topic.